Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the YI Revival Conference. I'm sure you'll all agree with me, it's been great so far, and what a pity it was last year that we couldn't go ahead with it. It was unfortunately um, cancelled. I'm sure if you hear more of our European speakers, you'll, you'll agree it was amazing. We've got our friends from Belgium, we've got our friends from Italy, and we've also got the Germans. <laughs> Had, had to happen, sorry. Um, I'd also like to uh, thank our international guests. I'd like to thank some of the other speakers we have, but also the venue that are having us today. The venue, of course, last year cancelled because of the, the leftist threats and the, uh, the threats to the, the people in the room, and they gave up. I just want to say a big thank you to the venue this year for standing up for free speech, the very bedrock of what we all take for granted, and we're seeing that now. We are taking free speech for granted in this country. This venue clearly believes in jobs, not mobs. So can we all say a big thank you to this venue? Now, this is the YI conference, but it's also called YI Revival. Now, what exactly are we reviving? From anybody from the outside, it may seem like for a long time everything's been fine and dandy. But I tell you, if you saw our membership list or our balance sheet last year, you'd know that anything, we were anything far from fine and dandy. Our finances were down big time. But what does that mean? A lot of times you hear finances are down, money's down, money's tight. What does that actually mean? It means events like this can't happen. We can't draw in big speakers. We can't send activists to the corners of the country, to Penzance, to Kent, to Scotland, to Northern Ireland. We can't do that without the finances. And of course, we can't have great merch, which you can buy at the back in the break, ties £1.50, key rings £1 each. <laughs> our patrons were down. Patrons are our steady flow of income. If we don't know where the money's coming for one month, two months, three months ahead, how can we plan events such as this? Rome wasn't built in a day, and this event wasn't planned in a day. If we didn't have patrons supporting us, of which I can see many here today, uh, we wouldn't be able to put on events such as this. So once again, can we say a big thank you to all of our patrons, our purple, bronze, silver, and gold tier patrons. Now I am the treasurer, and when you're the treasurer, pretty much everything's about money, but in life, there's much more to life than money. The main thing that was down was our membership. Oh, get a text message. The main thing that was down, another text message. The main thing that was down was our membership. If we don't have money, we're crippled. If we don't have patrons, we're crippled. If we don't have people spreading the message, we're dead. Our membership was down significantly. We couldn't send people abroad, even if we had all the money under the sun. But I'm happy to say now that that has changed. Our finances are up. Since YI was in, we have doubled our bank balance. Our patrons are up. We've quadrupled the amount of ba uh, patrons. We put in place a tiered system. If anyone wants to become a patron, wants to talk about it further, please do speak to me at the end. We've got purple patrons, bronze, silver, and gold, going from five, 15, 25, and 50 pounds. If you're interested, please do speak to me at the end. We'd be happy to have you on board. But most importantly, as I said earlier, our membership is up hugely. Thanks in part, of course, to Count Dankler and Sargon and Paul Joseph Watson spreading our message uh, online on YouTube but it wouldn't have happened without a steady ship. And that's thanks in part to a great number of people, our activists, but of course, a steady ship needs, this is gonna sound cheesy, a steady captain. And we had a steady captain, both at the young independence level, but also at the national level. Our leader, Gerard Batten, thank you, Gerard. Come on, stand. And also our leader at the young level, Nate Ryden. Now, I'm very proud of a lot that our executive committee on the young level has done uh, over the last year, uh, purple tier patrons, uh, various other things like that. Um, but the thing I'm most proud of is in UKIP's time of need, when we were about to go bankrupt, young independents banded together, dug deep into their pockets, and pulled out £2,000 to help this party. We knew it was going down. If we didn't have a party, where were we? We wouldn't be standing in this room. This event wouldn't be on. We wouldn't have an open flow of ideas. Where would we be? We dug deep into our pockets. We supported this party. And just look where we are now. 
It's amazing, isn't it? Now, the emblem for the YI Revival Conference and also the, the movement that we've got here is the Phoenix. Now, you've seen Phoenix in, in Harry Potter. It's also a, a place in Arizona. But what is a Phoenix? What do we know about a Phoenix? A Phoenix rises from the ashes in a blistering ball of flames and soars on. And that's exactly what we've done. Our finances are up, our patrons are up, our membership are up, onwards and upwards. <laughs>